have a new Fleetwood Frontier 36SS and uh, we got lots of little projects that we have to do to uh, kind of call it our own. We don't use the bunk bed. If we have our grandson or someone come visit us, we can always pull it down. But uh, we are basically putting the ladder out of the way into the storage area next to the slide since there's a few extra inches there and use every available uh, inch of space. Okay, I'm sitting here in one of the storage bays and I'm going to do one or two projects. First one is I'm going to make a couple spring rubber clamps to hold the bunk ladder in place in the storage bay so it's out of the way and not taking up any room in the storage bay or the bedroom or anything else like that. So, first thing is I need a mark on the wall where I want to put this and the tip I got this from Home Depot comes with some screws. I'm not going to worry about using the anchors. I'm just going to go ahead and take the screws and mount this little something here. Now, here's my little handy drill. I might have to make this higher anyway, you know why? There's no way I'm going to get the darn drill. It has to be a certain, well, hmm, okay. let's double thin this here on the fly. Because I can get this still in the position I want. Here, but I hope you get like that. I probably can do it. But I have to make this as high as possible. Like and I probably can do it. I'm going to make another mark here. And I'm going to show a little bit for that mark. But now, let's see how this works. Now, notice that the rubber part is not in here, but it's got a little uh, spring mechanism that's held in place by two pins. And the pins themselves allow the rubber to be taken out so then I can essentially hang this out. And I'm sure we're going to edit this for television, aren't we? <laughs> so I'm not sure if you guys can hear me, good, but I hope my audio is coming good. Uh, See how this works. Yeah, I'm having my little problems here. Okay. little part here goes together like that. There's little green pins here. Put this in place here like that. Okay, and now this part is ready to be hooked on the ladder here to hold this ladder in place. Now in order to make this work correctly we need to actually put in the other one and I think Marie has the other, uh, has another clamp. So how much weight does that tray hold? Uh, the tray holds? I, Since I you're sitting in it. Somewhere. Uh, 800 pounds. Oh, I guess you're allowed to sit in it then. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to hit this part here. Now, I'm going to tell you how this hits the part again. Basically, Here's the screws, these little pins here on this side, come out, these the pins, uh, okay, that comes out like that, and that set right there, waiting for us to screw. Here, we need the uh, screws, I need to put this up, two 
Rangers and all the way down out to Canada. Now this has to be the first steps I just need. In this particular case, I want to make sure this is high up with the base. And if I have a nine feet in there, I get hard to see And I'm going to have to obviously mark it so I can have it where I want it to be. And right about there. All right, so that's where that's going to be screwed. but obviously once it gets through it pulls the material back down. Basically, you're trying to use two brackets, but uh, you're going to have to use three to make sure it's secure. That's true. Okay, I'm glad that you bought some extra brackets. And I suppose I could have turned it from the top, but I'm not trying to keep it from moving. Let's do that little next one. And uh, I'm trying to hold the If I do it right here, I shouldn't have to. Uh, I shouldn't have to. Uh, you know. I claw on my back, which I really don't want to do. So Ben's getting ready to put the third bracket on. He was trying to get away with two, but it just uh, didn't work out as well as he was hoping. Ben's been using his drill a lot today. I should have uh, filmed a few other little projects. We did get one in, but you'll be seeing a lot of videos. The bit is missing. The bit is missing. Yeah, screw bit. I know. Off somewhere. Where is it? Oh, I see it. I was looking at a bag here, so I apologize for lowering the camera a little bit. I thought no, maybe... The, the pit stayed on the screw. Yeah, that's fine. I just thought that maybe it, you might have had it with the anchors. As you can see, he's really cute. We're wearing a cute little Santa Claus shirt with the, with the belt and everything. In the spirit of Christmas. Mm-hmm. 
well. And all we need to do now is reinsert the pins. stow this ladder when we're not using it? Okay, good question. Well, I've come up with a solution that allows you to store this ladder and you still let you keep a valuable storage space. Now, first of all, we're going to start, we're going to take this ladder off and now we're going to go over to the side storage bay over here. All right. As you see, there's our side storage bay. It doesn't look there's a lot of room in there for this big ladder, but aha, uh -huh, you know, a Um If you look in there, you can look at the frame rails. You see, I've installed uh, some big clamps, rubber clamps that I got from Home Depot. Uh, the bottom ones are actually not physically attached to the frame rails with screws, whereas they're actually using the, the 3M uh, lot strip tape stuff but the ones up top are actually screwed and what this allows me to do is taint this ladder and put it in here okay and the ladder goes right like that and it locks into place and that's how we store a ladder now you can do this with both a 36 ss and the 34 GT Frontiers. You probably can do the same thing with the Discovery models, but I'm not so sure about it. But the idea will work. You're basically using the available horizontal space to store the rear um, roof ladder. All right, let's hope you uh, enjoyed this little segment. Okay, one more project done. And we'll hope you join us for some other videos in the near future. In the meantime, open the doors to adventure and start all your journeys with the, the RV Keys. Bye-bye.